Welcome to the February 2019 update of Siege Titan Wars. With this season's update, we have a brand new Titan on the battlefield as well as some exciting balance changes. First up, this update introduces a brand new card that you'll definitely want in your battle deck. This season, the Harbinger enters the exclusivity of Prestige Tier Preview. Playing the Harbinger card will place an obelisk structure that is the Ritualist Summoning Nexus for the terrifying Harbinger Titan. The obelisk will absorb the souls of fallen enemies from anywhere on the battlefield. Gather enough souls and the Titan will be unleashed into the world. But watch out! The enemy can destroy the obelisk before that happens and your efforts will be in vain. A soul's intensity depends on the mana value of the target it came from and the distance the soul has to travel to the obelisk. The further a soul has to travel, the less valuable they become when they are absorbed. Try to cast it as close as possible to the front line for maximum effect, but not so close as to be obliterated before it's done its job. Once the obelisk absorbs enough soul energy, the Harbinger is unleashed. He'll roam the battlefield with his dark aura that saps the very life of anything that gazes upon him. Indeed, the Harbinger's very presence is so horrifying that it deals damage to every enemy in range. And worse, with each unit he defeats, the Harbinger absorbs its soul, healing itself as it does. Since he's a flying unit, only ranged and flying units can attack him, but be careful not to feed him too many souls, it'll only make things worse. On to the balance changes. The explosive trickle of boars spawned from the boar den can be hard to push past, leading to a stalemate until it finishes. We've increased the time between spawns for this card to give more time for effective countering. Gorgons are a strong frontline unit, and the ability to spawn them anywhere has become a key counter against many decks. We're decreasing the spawn count to bring them in line with other backline counters such as Ninjutsu, Corrupted Pool, and Blizzard. Landmines now spawn in a more random pattern that covers a larger area. To keep the density roughly the same, more landmines will spawn with each cast. The Mortar Guard's biggest weakness is finding just the right position on the battlefield to inflict the most damage. We're giving it an extra unit per spawn so it's more likely to find that perfect spot while decreasing their health a bit to balance out the extra unit increase. Tidal Wave was effective against troops, but lacked most of its pushing power against Titans. Titan Knockback now scales much more with level, so a high level Tidal Wave can even push back a Siege Brute to buy some extra time. The Archer often falls off as the best choice for a ranged unit in the later tiers, so we're giving it a small health boost to grant it some more staying power, even against some of the higher tier warriors. The Mana Cannon can do some serious damage given how much damage it can absorb, so we're decreasing its health to allow for more spell and ranged warrior counterplay against it. You can take a look at the specifics of these changes in our blog post linked in the description. There's also a link to our Discord, where you can discuss this update with other players. Thanks for joining us, and subscribe to our channel for more news and updates on all things Siege Titan Wars.